shall receive power. March 11. Temperance. Whether therefore ye eat, or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. God requires all men to render their bodies to Him a living sacrifice, not a dead or a dying sacrifice, a sacrifice which their own course of action is debilitating, filling with impurities and disease. God calls for a living sacrifice. The body, He tells us, is the temple of the Holy Ghost, the habitation of His Spirit and he requires all who bear his image to take care of their bodies for the purpose of his service and his glory. Ye are not your own, says the inspired apostle. Ye are bought with a price. Wherefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. In order to do this, add to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience. It is a duty to know how to preserve the body in the very best condition of health, and it is a sacred duty to live up to the light which God has graciously given. If we close our eyes to the light for fear we shall see our wrongs, which we are unwilling to forsake, our sins are not lessened, but increased. If light is turned from in one case, it will be disregarded in another. It is just as much sin to violate the laws of our being as to break one of the Ten Commandments, for we cannot do either without breaking God's law. We cannot love the Lord with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, while we are loving our appetites, our tastes, a great deal better than we love the Lord. We are daily lessening our strength to glorify God, when He requires all our strength, all our mind. By our wrong habits, we are lessening our hold on life, and yet professing to be Christ's followers, preparing for the finishing touch of immortality. Closely examine your own hearts, and in your lives imitate the unerring pattern, and all will be well with you. Preserve a clear conscience before God. In all you do, glorify His name. Divest yourselves of selfishness and selfish love.